What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. And a lot of you guys still have not received Madden 23 beta codes. And uh, you're asking about if you're going to have an opportunity to go ahead and get it. Now, I do want you guys to know this is the early stages of the beta codes. A lot of you guys that did sign up will be getting it later. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys why it really doesn't matter if you don't have it right now. Um, you know, going into next week, I think many of you guys that are watching this video right now will probably be able to get it. I myself, I've reached out to EA. I haven't gotten anything back yet. So I myself have not received any codes, but their verified accounts, the EA Sports accounts, uh, they've been giving out beta codes regularly and there's a lot going on with that. If there's anything that I find out, you know, regardless, I'm gonna definitely let you guys know, as long as you guys follow me on social media, over on uh, at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at G Miles World, any update that I get, you guys will get. But I do want you guys to know, as of right now, with the beta, they don't have anything really in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been playing it a lot, but they don't, they don't have, um, you know, ultimate team in it. They don't have a lot of things in it right now. So if you don't have it, all that you would be doing is playing a bunch of head-to-head -head games or regular teams. It's not really something that's, you know, rather exciting or anything to where you need to actually have it right now. Other than the fact of the mechanics of, you know, seeing what the game is and already having it downloaded. What they're going to do is periodically they're going to be doing things like adding more things into the actual beta. So you're going to have the opportunity, a lot of you guys watching this video right now, to play a version of Ultimate Team in the beta. It's not there yet. So you're not, like I said, for me, I would I would have rather waited as well, like with the rest of you guys. Uh, I was fortunate to get a code, but like I said, I won't feel comfortable until some of my bros got, you know, got codes too. Uh, so that's what I'm working on and trying to get that done. But... Our emphasis here on this channel, as far as Madden is related, is Ultimate Team. So, you know, this is what we're definitely looking at to try to get. We're trying to figure out, like, yo, what's going on? Are we going to have an opportunity to go ahead and get, you know, beta codes for the rest of the fam? So, yes, look out for those type of tweets. If EA puts anything out or there's anything that you need to know, I will definitely get that information to you as soon as possible. So don't worry about it. Now, the next thing that some of you guys have been having issues with, let me go ahead and back out of this. A lot of you guys have pre-ordered... Um, Madden 23 from like the homepage over here on uh, you know if you if you have next gen Madden 22 right here this this limited time deal so when you order this right you get um uh, actually you get that pack that has like the Sean Taylor and all that stuff in it that you're supposed to get currently for Madden 22 a lot of you guys have not received that pack right so you guys are like yo and and also the player is auctionable by the way so if you pre-ordered Madden and you didn't get it this is what you need to do right now. You have to immediately go to Twitter and you have to go to at EA help and you have to file a claim with them. Um, you know, help.ea.com. Also, you can like have a tracking with it. But my experience with EA help, they've been more useful than a lot of other uh, avenues to go with EA. And I think that that would be the best way for you to get it if you've already done this. All right. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Um, you will. They, they'll give you the pack. And a lot of people I, I've seen on, on various social medias have not received their pack. So it's not just you. Uh, I think you'll be all set with that. All right. So don't really get crazy about it. Uh, just go to at EA help. And um, if you're if you're definitely having issues with it and you feel overwhelmed with it and you are a member, uh, like you have a globe next to your name over here on YouTube, then you can tag me in it on Twitter. And I'll just verify, you know, what's going on and see what's happening. Because those are like some of the perks that my members get. Uh, to make sure that everything is good with them. That's what we try to do here at GMI's World. Make sure like your whole Madden experience is just like, it's not you by yourself. If something comes up and it's crazy, any way that I can help, you know, I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and do that. All right. So with the way everything is set up right now, let's talk about Madden 23 Ultimate Team. And I'm going to tell you some things that are really, really exciting that many of you guys, I've already discussed this in a previous video. Number one, I know some of you guys are like, yo, gee, you're running around with Tom Brady right now with Escape Artist. That's hilarious. You know what the funnier part is? He's a 97 speed, so he's actually fast. That's what's weird about it. But just so you guys know, it will be an X Factor. All right, so in 23, it will be an X Factor. Um, one of the good things about Madden 23, as a matter of fact, let me, let me know if you guys are playing the beta currently right now. Just go ahead and type one in the comment section if you guys have been playing Madden 23 so I can know how many of you guys got it. I'm pretty sure that number is going to double or triple uh, into the next coming week uh, as they start to roll out more beta codes. But one of the things I want to ask you guys, right, if you've already played the game, have you noticed how fast the quarterbacks move without escape artists? It's like they gave us natural movement based on the speed of the player, the way that Madden used to be. 
before all the abilities. So the X factor has been extremely tuned down as well. But not only that, they've actually added the ability where your contains actually contain. So one of the things that I've noticed, and um, I even spoke with a pro earlier that was telling me like sort of like bunch tight end, right? Bunch tight end, you won't really be able to roll outside the pocket, but you can still abuse it by standing inside the pocket. And the reasoning behind that is, if you roll out, the play, the game is geared to the rollout now. But it looks like if you stand in the pocket, the crossers still get open. So I wanted to give you the, you know give you guys that as a quick pro tip. It's still bunch tight end still exists. It's still wild, but. If you roll out, you won't have the same success. I think you're gonna have to stay in the pocket. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll be, you know, jumping on the Madden 23 sticks a little bit later and seeing what's going on with that. And I'll give you guys that feedback as soon as possible. But that's what I was told, and I think it makes a lot of sense. So moving forward right now with the way everything is set up, uh, with the X Factor and all that stuff, I wanted to talk about a lot of the other abilities that are in the game. And, you know, we were talking about this early in stream. If you guys are subscribed to me right here at G Myers World and G Myers World Gaming, you can see a lot of different gameplay, live aspects about what we have conversations about. But one of the things that I found very, very interesting, one of the abilities in Madden 23 that's going to be a must-have is going to be Fearless. And if you, you know, for those of you guys that have played the beta, it's actually realistic the way that the pass rush comes in. You should not have 75 hours in three weeks to pass the ball. And I did not see nano detection. Now remember, that does not mean that it won't be in the game at launch because they've done this before. They've done like different builds of the game where certain things weren't, wasn't in it and then they put it into the real game. So that doesn't mean that it won't be in the game. What I'm saying is the way that the game is right now is really good. And I'm willing to debate anybody about the way that it plays because your players actually do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like guys see Crosser, he runs with Crosser. Like, it's not a situation where guys are just dumbed out or they don't know what they're doing. So that's why a lot of people, including, I would say, a majority of the pros that stepped away from the game early are enjoying the beta because you're actually playing defense. So look, hear me out, right? I'm going to be talking about this a lot more because there's a lot of under pressures that go on right now in Madden 23. And the QB reacts to the fact that there's pressure in his face. Not like the way this game is where you just throw a dot with a guy on your shoulders and have you in a headlock, you just throw a dot. That looks like it's gone. So I wanted to go ahead and like give you guys a premise of what we're gonna be doing going forward because a lot of you guys are enjoying um, you know, what we've been talking about as far as preparing for Madden 23. So these are the type of ideas that I would like to know. What do you guys want to hear me talk about with Madden 23? Um, you know, what do you think I should, you know, what do you think I should focus on? Is there anything that you specifically want to know about? I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, and shout out to all of you guys that's been answering the, uh, some of the things that you know about. But if I can get to it or if it's brought to my attention, I will answer your questions, especially, obviously, if you're a member of the channel, uh, which you can go ahead and click the uh, just in the description box and become a member today. So that was just one of the things I wanted to point out as far as some of the things that we're gonna be looking for once they add Ultimate Team to the actual beta over the next couple weeks. So like I said before, just stay, like, like guys, be patient. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna end up getting codes um, eventually. It's still rolling out. It was just an early phase. You just weren't in phase one, but you guys are gonna be all set. As I said before, follow me on social media. Any updates that I know, you guys will know as soon as possible. At G Miles World, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch. See me over there. Other than that, at EA Help to get your free pack that you didn't get if you pre-ordered Madden 23. I'll see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.